when I was in college, uh, I had a, a difficult time in one year when I wasn't sure why I wanted to do medicine. I was like, I was taking, this is traditional for pre-meds. Organic chemistry, why am I doing this? You know, I don't really want to do this. Do I really want to be a doctor? And so at that time, I went to my career services at my school and they, they, they told me about you know, these programs and Project Ahead stuck out. Um, I had no idea what medicine was like at the time when I uh, joined the program. I learned a lot about uh, community health. I learned a lot about health disparities. I had a broader vision of medicine um, after I completed the program. You know, it's different from working in a hospital or a doctor's office. It's really about um, uh, finding ways to partner with the community and think about healthcare in its broadest sense, you know, not only the actual delivery of healthcare, but the social determinants of healthcare. I think the project is not just getting people into the healthcare field, but also educate them about the community, the, the population that, that we hope to bring healthcare services to. Another thing that Project Ahead does, it, it allows you to think big. So because you get sort of these shadow experiences, you get to make your own project, you get to decide on your own budget. These are skills that you later need for any project that you're going into. Um, so as an undergrad student, once you get this, um, these responsibilities, you have a better idea. And also, you, you believe in yourself that you can think big and you can do big. Having the opportunity to be able to execute a community-based project really brought me out of my shell. I was able to talk to people and interact with the community, and I think that um, really made me into who I am today. It equipped me with the leadership skills I needed and the management skills I needed to excel in my career and also just to become a more open person. Um, in fact, now I'm pretty comfortable with public speaking and I even emcee some of our charity events, so that's always fun. One of the most important things at Project Ahead was meeting other Asian Americans in positions of influence in the area of healthcare. In the outside field, a lot of times you don't have that. In the mainstream field, in schools, and other you know, classes, you don't see that a lot. But you get to see that in Project Ahead. Um, and because you see these role models, you tend to internalize the idea that there is a lot more out there, there is a lot more that one can do, not just for um, a mainstream community, but also for underserved, underrepresented minorities. I think that as long as you know, we have um, young students who want to do good and want to work in this community, the Project Ahead uh, internship program is just completely valuable. And it's, and it's valuable whether a student chooses to go into health careers or they end up going into a path along policy or other lines that can still play a role in terms of helping um, that healthcare dynamic. The Project Head is now celebrating its 40th anniversary, um, which really is a testament to the commitment of the uh, center in mentoring uh, young professionals and, and trying to encourage people to go into community health. Um, I give a lot of credit to those of us who um, have remained supporters of the center and um, I just want to say that Project Ahead 40 years, I hope there's another 40 years.